Right, we're back. A few people have asked me to do this one now. I did touch on it um, with my Ashes tutorial way back. So we're going to be doing some metallic Petri. So these are the Octopus Fluids metallic alcohol inks. They've got a ball bearing in there already, which you can probably hear. Now, I've not really played around with the coin copper colour. I have done quite a bit with these two and they really do last. I got mine as a set of three. Again, the links are in the description below. Now I found the silver can be kind of hit and miss. Most of the time it wants to just float on the surface, but then sometimes it wants to sink and touch the front of the mould. But we're gonna just have a play around with them. We're still gonna use our sinker white. It doesn't really, the sinker doesn't really push the metallics down, but it does help keep the piece kind of opaque. So we are, of course, using the collaboration resin. So I'm going to get mixing and we'll begin. Right, so my resin is now poured. I've mixed it and poured it straight into the mould, so no waiting. I've got some micro bubbles in there where I rushed, rushed my stirring, but it doesn't matter. Those will rise and I'll... The alcohol content should pop them anyway. Right, let's begin. As always, massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you very much for the support. And to anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. It's always appreciated. And to anyone who's joined and subbed to the channel. Right, so, I'm gonna kind of just drop them, play away I think. So the Let's Raising Sea Deeper, as many of my viewers know, I have just got mine inside this needle tip bottle where I've put a ball bearing, which is just handier to shake up the ink. But the ball bearing is stuck at the moment. There we go. Thoroughly shake your wipe before use, otherwise you will not get the effects. You can either get no sinking or you can get too much. Right. So let's go in with some silver mine. I think this one will just go with silver. Now these give me a really kind of wintry vibe. Metallics, especially the golds and the silvers. And again, the white's not really going to look like it's doing much. But you'll just see how those inks dance away. These are quite popular on my when I was doing my TikTok lives. I haven't done one for a while. I've been so busy. But people just loved watching this dancing, especially with the metallics. Right, so for the one next to it, I think I'm gonna mix things up. I'm gonna try all three colors, all three of the metallics. Never done it before. <laughs> if I get space, we'll see what happens when they spread. So this is the copper. Maybe one down the bottom as well. I'm gonna do the gold last because the gold really is, it likes to bully the others. It really does take over. Not going to now I've said that. Let's try and drop some in between the copper as well. The gold normally just tends to cover the whole surface, you can't really see what's going on underneath. See how that just drops on the copper and it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but that is actually spreading underneath the surface of that copper. So cool to watch. The copper's pretty boring, but the gold and silver are really cool to watch. So let's go with one just gold. And see how that just starts to spread across the surface of the resin. Mm. 
The sink I will push some of the colour down, but not much. I always tend to go in with a bit more sinker on these than what I do with my normal alcohol inks. I think the hearts are my favourite to do this with. And I've played around with these in a, a couple of different ways with the stirring. So normally we stir after an hour, but you can just manipulate some of these colours into the surface now if you wanted to, just like that. You still come back and do the normal stir. It just gives a, a slightly different effect. Just mixes things up a, a bit. We'll do it with this one down here as well. Just move some of that colour around. Like so. Now we'll still come back in an hour and just do our, our little stir. I want to try one with just the copper. That white blob is actually underneath my mould. It's not inside. Maybe after this I, I might be amazed with the copper and decide to use that a bit more. See what we'll do is we'll stir this one now just to agitate that colour and then the one next to it we won't. We'll just do a comparison afterwards. Might not be a difference but I always find it does add a little bit of a a different look. You could add colour if you wanted to. It just it just depends on what you're going after. I think a gold. I've just done the one below it as well. And then we'll go with a silver in the point. Just like that. It's sparkling away. The gold just it's pretty boring to watch unless you stir things up. Right, so we've got two squares. Let's try it a different way. Let's go in with a white first in the top one. And then we'll add some gold. We'll just see how that turns out afterwards. We'll do that again with the, the bottom one but with a silver. Got to love experimenting. Right, so now we just have the two hearts to go. I think we'll do one with all the colours. I'm going to squeeze gold between those two silvers at the top. You can get, I'm pretty sure you can get coloured metallics as well. I did hear that Letch Resin were working on some. I'm not sure if they're out in the UK or in the US yet. I think we'll stir this one now. To move some of that colouring around. Accidentally splash some white in there. I think we'll just do this one gold.
Right, so those are all done. The gold, <laughs> see how it just covers the back. Right, we'll see you in about an hour. So it's been about an hour and we're gonna stir things up as we always do. What you can do like we did before is just kind of just, we're not gonna get a very feathery effect. But what you can do is just move those surface inks around underneath. We'll try just doing normal stirs on some. But you can just manipulate those inks. So for these ones we'll just go with a stir and just see what we get but you can't normally see a kind of feather room with these. wondering whether any of them have blobbed. This one we're just going to manipulate all over. I'll just go with a stare on that one. And we might as well do the same on this one. It's hard to see what ones you've done as well sometimes, especially when they're really covered. Now for the one on the left, I think I'm gonna Just work that gold down. And then we'll go with a swirl. Right, now we wait. See you soon. Right, let's see what we've got. I sped this up, so I think I've probably, from judging by the underneath, got some sinkage. We'll start, no we won't start with the hearts, we'll start up here. So by speeding things up, I mean I used heat and that's turned the viscosity a lot lower. <laughs> so it's kind of spoiled the pieces I think, but it depends on what you like really. I didn't think that far ahead. Still super cool. Yeah, if you didn't speed things up, you'd get less less of the blobbing. That one's really good. Does it match? Have we got a matching pair? Pretty much. Yeah, so if you didn't speed it up, you wouldn't get so much of this around the outside. I should have realised. That's spacey. Still get some really good results. Even though I have cheated. <laughs> It's more so around the outside of the, the pieces. Wow. So those metallic spores. Where have I got, have I got a bezel lying around? I have. 
See what I mean about that kind of wintery vibe. So these would be ideal for maybe Christmas gifts. This is the one where I added all three. Yeah, that gold's just a bit too heavy. I really like that background though. You can see those metallic colours, especially that copper. Let's go with the squares next. Yeah, that gold's just a bit too heavy. Try and get a bit more light. No, I prefer it how it was. <laughs> Really cool. And you could pinch bail that as it is, or there are some bangles or bezels that these fit into quite nicely. Let's see the hearts. I do prefer the hearts with the metallics. Oh, blobs. Lots of blobbing. And I presume this one's going to be exactly the same. <laughs> oh, just the copper. Which is a shame. Again, you might like that kind of thing. But it's just to me, that's just a bit too much. But that will teach me for <laughs> speeding things up. So we've got some good ones in there anyway. I quite like the small hearts as well. But I think this one's definitely my favourite. I've got a bit of touch in there but it's nothing to worry about really super cool anyway give the video a thumbs up drop me a comment and if you haven't hit that sub button hit that for me now and i'll see you for the next one bye for now